welcome back folks so as you've probably seen in my other videos i talk a lot about things i have to do now when i talk about have to do and should do and probably should do this really does fall into the i have to do this so what happened last winter and i'll paint a bit of a picture for you i'm sitting in the nice heated cab of my tractor now if you don't know what my tractor is you'll have to check out my other videos but it's a it's a cab tractor pretty nice one got the heat in there got the tunes blaring and I'm plowing the driveway or snow blowing the driveway. And sometimes I get done, everything goes well, I hop out of there and uh, done for the day. Other times I'm moseying along with the tune, real good song comes on, I'm bopping my head, kind of forgetting what I'm doing. And I either hit two things. One of them is a piece of firewood that I forgot was under the snow and that tends to shear off a lot of shear pins. And another one is I clip something. And this time around I clip something. And what that was is one of those portable garage tents that I keep my firewood in. So I clipped it pretty good with the tractor. Now, if you're clipping it, you would think you'd probably feel it. But unfortunately, when you get a real good song going and you're backing up, sometimes you don't feel anything, especially in that tractor. That thing's got a lot of weight. When you're backing up, you're in four-wheel drive. It's got lots of traction. And you may not notice, especially if the bottom of that tent is under the snow you may not notice that you're currently pushing it backwards and bending everything in behind it so here's the result let's hold up one of these there's a, a beautiful looking pole from about three feet to the three and a half foot mark the last half foot not too good so tractor bent these to heck and i've got just looking down here i've got three poles i gotta fix up so i'm gonna do this now because once the uh, cold weather rolls around, it's not going to be as much fun to be outside. And so I'm going to try to get that done here today. Now, you could go down to the store, you could buy new poles, or you could look on the uh, Kijiji or something, uh, Craigslist as the American, as you Americans like to use. Uh, you could have a look and try to find some, or you could do what I do and head out to the old junk pile, which tends to be everywhere around here, and look for a piece of scrap. And that's what I did, and if you look on the floor there behind me, an old galvanized pipe. I don't even know what the heck it came from, but I've been having that sit out in the sit out in the pile for quite a while until today. So I pulled it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the section of pipe that's bent, and I'm going to replace it with that pipe. Just so happens that that galvanized pipe, the diameter is slightly bigger than the diameter of that other pipe that's broke. So it's going to slide right over top of it, drill some holes through it, and run some bolts. That's the plan. That's going to get me out of a pinch and. For the cost of a few bolts, actually, truth be told, I probably have them kicking around. So for the cost of nothing, I'm going to get it all fixed up. So that's what we're doing here today. That's why we're in the shop. And if you look back there, we're going to head over to the little metal depot section there and get some, get some stuff cut. So here we go. All right. Well, look at all these projects I got on the go. Doing arts and crafts over here. A piece of chimney pipe. I don't even know what the heck's going on over there tile and paint sprayers and chainsaw gear and trinkets holy smokes anyways let's do this um, i'm gonna work with these big ones to start so i'm not gonna be too picky here i'm just gonna try to get a good measure on how uh how long of a section i'm gonna cut out let's just make a mark and then we'll go from there let's just say i'm gonna cut it uh so we want to section a good pipe so we'll cut it right there and we'll do some overlap Geez, I guess we'll cut her off right there. So this one's gonna be a bigger one. So let's give this about a, oh, I don't know, 23 inch piece. Twenty-three right about there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and we'll call that pipe number two. Okay, so over to the cutoff wheel, we're gonna cut all these three pipes. And then we're going to cut these, and hopefully it works. Let's get that out of there. Thank you. 
Now, as I'm standing here thinking about how many holes I'm going to have to drill, I just got thinking these are both steel pipes and I've got two welders sitting over there. I think that's what I might do. All right, guys, we're just about to get going here. I've got everything laid out. I've got it ground down to bare metal and I've got it marked so I know where my lengths are for that 56 inches. So I think it's just a matter of uh, gearing up and getting going. Now, for those who are watching and thinking, geez, he's wearing a short sleeve shirt. Yeah, I am. Just disregard that. You're supposed to have a long sleeve shirt on or a welding jacket or something. But for this point, uh, just don't worry about that. guys so that is how you make a pipe that got bent by your tractor fixed so I got three of them all fixed up I'm just gonna reassemble and that's it well guys regardless of what it looks like and it doesn't look too pretty an old friend of mine once told me fixed is fixed and uh, I think this lives up to it. This is fixed. How nice it looks is another story. Anyways, if you guys want to see how you can save a buck or two, hang around here a bit longer. This came from the scrap pile. It'll probably end up back in the scrap pile, especially when I back over it again next winter. Anyways, I appreciate it. If you guys wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, you guys all take care. We'll see you then.